My name is Henry Colt. Today my team and I are going to demonstrate a series of bronchoscopy step-by-step -step exercises. Just as one learns to play tennis or play golf in stages, or learns to play a musical instrument step-by-step, -step, one can also learn bronchoscopy using this systematic approach. We've thus deconstructed bronchoscopy into a separate group of exercises. This allows us to develop muscle memory and spatial awareness by identifying the appropriate lobar and segmental anatomy and learning to rotate the bronchoscope in an atraumatic fashion. Step one will be moving the bronchoscope from the nostril down to the larynx. Slight manipulations may be necessary to keep the scope in the midline. Pass the uvula, the tongue, and visualize the epiglottis. Step two will move the bronchoscope into the subglottis. As the patient inhales, the bronchoscope is kept in the midline, and slight manipulations are made to keep the scope centered as the scope passes beyond the vocal cords into the subglottic space. Step three follows the curve of the trachea to the carina, from the subglottis to the carina. The scope is kept in the midline, again using small manipulations of the bronchoscope itself to avoid trauma to the walls.